All right, so memory oh. shouldn't take that long, right? Because uh, the only one that's really a full area doesn't actually have a boss, and then the one with the boss, you just run straight oh. to him. All right, so you said I should do the one like closest to the second bonfire, right? Uh, you you remember where? Like all the barrels were, and the people on like a ledge throwing firebombs at you. Mm -hmm. It's down below is where the giant crossbow trap is, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know where I'm going. It, it, it is the one closest to the second bonfire. I don't remember that one actually having anything in it. Like, there's the guy you talk to, and Ben Hart will be there. But other than that, I don't think there's really anything there. Okay. I'm heading in now. So this is Memory of Vamar. What are you doing here? You are not one of our soldiers. And I don't take you for a mercenary. Whoever you are, this is no battle to involve yourself in. Whether you are guided by bravery or brashness. <laughs> this is no place for you. I am Drummond. And the Lord has placed this fault in my hands. Whoever you are, I forgive your trespass. But leave this place immediately. Just mention my name and no man. Maybe there is actually an area to this even place. If you don't, Never mind. Now, my men have not the will to resist. Soon the giants will descend upon this fort. It is revenge for the kingdom's misguided barbarism. The venerable lord built this kingdom to bring prosperity to his subjects. What has transformed him so, I cannot imagine. Long ago, the king crossed the seas pillaged the land of giants and brought back a prize. It was then that the golems materialized. The giants are no ordinary barbarians. A singular rage burns within their hearts. My father and his father both fought the giants on this very land. The giants have wills of steel. You get a bunch of enemies that show up nowhere else. To forgive the misdeeds of our did you see him? That towering monster among them. That is most certainly their king. He will be a thing to topple. <laughs> Even if I should die trying, oh, I died. my blade may break, my arrows fall wide. But my will shall never be broken. Those who live by the sword will die by it. And I, Drummond, won't go down without drawing mine. Be gone with you. This fort will soon fall. Be gone before the giants are entirely upon us. So basically, the Queen of Dranglaic was just using the king, right? Pretty much. Yeah. 
And she's actually like a part of Manos, right? I think so. I remember hearing that like when Manos was defeated, he like spread four parts of himself out into the world. Something like that. Or at the very least, she's kind of the same idea as Manos. Hey, I was trying to help you, dude. Very rude. You. Also, you only have a finite time to be inside a, a memory. So. Right. Now, here I come trying to help them, and they kick my ass instead. They don't know who you are. One fortunate thing is that you, you can backstab giants. Really? Yeah. These giants, not the ones we fought earlier. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, I got the, the main item of, of Amara, so maybe it was a different one I was thinking of, there's nothing in it. This must not be the one that, that Ben Hart shows up in. Ow. I think he shows up in the one that's after a uh, pursuer. Did you know if you get knocked down by a giant, you're still susceptible to another attack from them? Yeah. I died. I wonder if I should even bother going to get myself back. I think I got the only relevant items in this place. I might as well go grab them. Homeward bone out. I think the petrified something I got and the giant stone club are the only items in memory of Amar that matter. Other than coming back after you beat the boss. enemies that I am not bothered do not show up anywhere else. I keep getting clubbed to death. It wouldn't be so bad if every one of their attacks didn't stun you for a really long time, for just no reason. Even, like, getting hit can also stun you for a really long time. Well, even with my... Uh, with Havel's shield... They still attack through it.
I'm fully aware. I already talked to him. This is my third time trying to go through the area. Yeah, your, your best bet is to just kind of avoid fighting most of the enemy. Especially the big ones. Okay, I got the, the important item. Soul of the Giant at the end. Now I'm just gonna leave. Actually, do you get... There's only the one Soul of Giant. I don't get anything for killing the big dudes with puzzles. Warrior Club. Okay. The Ash and Miss is thin. No. Uh... Yeah, um, I never actually did the memories, so this is all like brand new to me. Yeah, there's only- you only actually have to do one of them. One with the giant. I see. Goomba stomped. At least I'm alive. Yeah, the, the main item in there is just the club and the giant soul. Alright, so I need to go talk to the dude after getting that? No, you, you need to talk to him again after killing the giant lord. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can just uh, leap Homeward Bone or Age Feather out? Yeah. Okay. Now you do want to do the memories if you actually want to kill Vendrick, because you know the giant souls. Or most of the giant souls. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything else, so I can leave. Alright, so I guess I should do the one with pers next to Pursuer next. Uh, you could just do Giant Lord. Oh man, I died walking to the boss because this is a stupid area. Oh, uh, the, the Giant Lord is not a good boss.
Right. I'll do that then. Definitely up there for uh, one of the worst bosses in the series. Oh, I'm gonna have to summon him before I leave the fog gate if I want him to come at all. Yeah, but even if you summon him, there's a good chance he won't actually make it over there. Right. Well, I'll try. <laughs> Alright, so it's probably better to just run through the area. Yeah, you don't fight those guys. Oh. I got crushed by a building and died. Yeah. I, if you go too fast, you'll get hit by some of the attacks. And if you go too slow, you'll also get hit by some of the attacks. And this is just a just a terrible, terrible area that they didn't think through. Fun. Also, if you wait too long, the dudes that are fighting the giants will die, but the giants won't be dead. So the giants will just come after you. See what's happening now. You definitely don't want to get hit by the boss because his damage is like stupid high. I think anytime I've actually been hit by one of his sword swings, I just would always die for full health. His attacks aren't really that hard to avoid either. Boss Got him. So if I were to fight Vendrick now, we would have four times. So. 
I usually, uh, I'll fight him if, like, I have four of them. I never bother going and getting all five. Okay, so now I can go back and talk to Drummond now that he's dead? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the fifth one requires you to kill the ancient dragon, which I don't ever want to do. Cause it's not even really worth it to do. But as long as you have four, Vendrick only has two times his normal defense, and that's not really that big of a deal. It takes a little while, like slightly longer to beat him, but it ain't that bad. So I could technically go kill Vendrick after doing all these memories. Yeah, killing Vendrick with uh, four of the five giant souls is easier than killing the dragon. And then killing him. Just because the dragon's such a pain in the end. I okay. Say easy. Just less, less tedious. Okay. Um, is there a giant by uh, you know the area where like the a bunch of those turtle dudes are in the forest? Is there a, a memory there too? Uh, there's a giant there, but I'm pretty sure there's no memory there. Okay. So then the only other one is by pursuer. Yeah. Okay. And then Brightstone. Yeah, I think you get an item. Yeah, you get a seed if you examine that giant. And he doesn't have a memory to attach him. And then the other one is the dragon in Brightstone. Bro. And that doesn't have anything in there other than the dragon okay. that you go up to and get the soul for. Oh, there's Ben Hart. Right by the tree. Now you get his sword. That's what are you doing here? Not good. We'd meet in a place like this. Fate just won't let us stay apart. Well, she. Kind of makes me think of like the Scotsman from Samurai Jack. This guy. See the old swords caught your attention. Well, if I could die then. I don't really remember that many of Oro. I don't remember what's even in I think other than the giant soul, there's not really anything in this memory particularly worth picking up. Yeah, I, I didn't go down to where the sound is. Uh, I already explored. I I mostly explored that area already, Vice. Uh, the only thing I remember really being down there is a really good shield for dealing with hex build. I like how he just went on the spiel about how he would never give up his sword, and he's like, "Here, have it. Here you go, have it." No, he gave he gave you a duplicate that he was just carrying. Around. Oh, he just happened to have a spare. Yeah. He's prepared. What does the Pharaoh's Lockstone in this memory do? Do I want to ma waste a uh, Pharaoh's Lockstone? How many weapons do I have on you? A lot. Screw it. Uh. Oh yeah, it's just because I don't bother to sort my inventory.
Oh. <laughs> yeah, good point. But, you see, he's got a rare... A rare one-of-a-kind sword. That's the thing. That's been passed down in his family for ages. So I think that's a slightly different story. What did this Pharos Lockstone do? Uh, it must have turned something on inside this. So you can't touch that illusionary wall unless you waste the Pharaoh's Lockstone, but it also doesn't really indicate that there's an illusionary wall there if you use it. So, uh, are we gonna question how Ben Hart made it into a memory without the Ashen Heart? He, he got his own ashes somewhere. <laughs> yeah, okay. All he had to do was get to the Dragonary somehow and say, hey. But he, Vice, he acknowledges you. He knows who you are. You know, the flows of time or something, something. Yeah, he's just having conniption. Is that all it is? A blade trap? Yeah, I think that uh, Pharaoh's Lockson actually just turns on the blade trap. There's an illusionary wall right next to it, though. Really? That, that one is there to just fuck with you. Ow. Come on. Oh, there, re Salaman. there really is. Now you can get that armor set from that one game. The first one. Isn't the steel set what those priests used? No, it's what the shopkeeper in uh, Sense Fortress used. Oh. Uh. I hate these sound. Oh, are you actually going through that area? I need the key for the second DLC to figure out here. I'll get it now. that when they choose to do the the dash their entire body is a hitbox
Ah, shit. Is there anything down there besides the shield and the key? Oh, I got hit by a... I see. Did you get hit by? Uh, one of the ballistas. Alright, so besides this secret area, there's nothing really else of interest here, right? Besides what secret area? Uh, oh, the steel set? Yeah. Uh, that and just the giant soul that's in there. Okay. Uh, Alright. Alright, so the last one's in Brightstone at the boss room? Yeah. Okay. Because I know you enjoyed those spiders before. Oh, yeah. So is Ben Hart's sword a uh, twinkling titanite? I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. But act actually, it might not be. You can infuse it, and I can't remember. Well, yeah, it doesn't shoot beams because it's fake. But it also looks cooler than the real one, so let's got that going. Should I just go try and kick Benjamin's ass right? I don't want to go back. Oh, but I gotta get the sh the other shield. I gotta go back to the group. Oh right, you want to try to do a wheel gun, right? Yeah. Right, let's see if I can manage to get a shield before uh, you can get Ancient Dragon Soul. I need. Oh, hey, another Mastodon Greatsword.
Oh, right, I have to go this way. Look, Avalon was kind of stupid anyways with the power stancing. Lightning Avalon. <laughs> So, uh, has your buddy, the NPC invader, been making your life miserable? He hasn't invaded anywhere else. I don't Door want stuck. it! I don't want to ignore the spiders. They're in my way and I'm gonna kill them. I got sandwiched between both of the shield dudes. Oh boy. And they just beat the hell out of me. I wish these stupid graves didn't come back every time you came in here. At least the, the ghosts don't keep coming back as long as you destroy those things. Yeah. That would be really annoying. Oh, I just found out something. Oh, never mind. So you know how the shield guys kind of just stand there for a bit? Yeah. I figured they, they don't activate until you actually do something, and I thought, because they I, you can stand by them for a little while before they do anything, mm -hmm. so that I could poison them by just standing next to them. I guess they didn't, didn't, uh, li they didn't uh, like that. Hey, oh. that time? It, it could be that the butterfly set isn't at all it's cracked up to be. Well, it works on Mimics, because Mimics, like, won't activate until you actually deal damage to them, but non-hostile NPCs will start getting mad at you just for being next to them. You know, I never noticed that Dragon's Corpse. That's really cool. Well, they showed in the cutscene. I didn't pay attention. I was too busy looking at the giant spider. Alright, so this is where I get the curved dragon sword, right? Yeah, you. Well, you get the soul for it. Oh. Wow, whole lot of nothing here. Watch as they just don't drop the shield, and the only shield I do get is the one I already have. Uh. Ancient Dragon Soul? Is that all that's here? Yeah. Oh. Well, okay then.
Oh, is a uh, is th this one would probably be Bird Lady, right? Yeah. Oh, dang. Still no, no shield. You got your gold, your gold ring equipped. Yep. If only we did the gargoyles and had the plus two version. Dark Spirit Forlorn, what are you doing here? They can appear in any area that you've cleared. Why didn't he appear in any other? Well, it's like... It's based on like a few factors, like how many souls you have, how hollow you are. And I think like if you died and you have souls that you're trying to collect, recollect, I think they're more likely to spawn that way, too. Thanks. I do. Blue Moon Greatsword is just regular Titanite. Makes sense. You... what? Is it me? You what? I'm at two million eight hundred thousand. You, you have died here. May they help you on your travels? Oh, thank you. May you find peace on your journey. My soul memory is two million two hundred.
Okay. So both R2s with this, the dragon curved sword, both send out shockwaves. I mean, it's, it's neat. I'll give it that. I using just for fun. All right, Mastodon Halberd. All right, so I guess whenever I you're, just, I guess whenever you're ready, get dropping anything. I'll do one more attempt. Wrath of Gods in this game is terrible, though. I I'll see if I can get a drop for you, too. Because uh, I, I really don't want a bonfire aesthetic this place, because then I have to go kill Velstad again. And, uh... I'm not doing that. Wrath of Gods was broken in the first. It was instant. It recovered quickly. If you, uh, it could hit through shields if you just didn't look at the person when you cast it. Uh, if they had enough poise to get staggered by it, but not uh, get knocked down by it, you could backstab them. Because. You know, whatever. Stop dropping your armor, please. get uh, Orma's great shield let's see if I can get it Almi already gave me Reeves, but I can't get the other one to drop. Got my third pair of Imperius clothes. Oh, really? All right, I'll, I'll do this one. Will be my last attempt. Then I'm just gonna go buy some repair powder since I need that. We can start the deals. I can do. I can do this on my own, or you know, do this until they stop respawning. Because I'm not gonna aesthetic this place. At least not until after I've beaten Vendor. Which, uh, other than his crown, I don't really care about anything you get from Ventric, and maybe his shield. I don't like either of his weapons. Oh, I saw an, an item drop and I thought I got lucky.
Okay, I'm just gonna go buy repair powder. It's not possible. The weapon simply doesn't exist. Alright, after this attempt, I'll warp back to Medulla. I don't remember actually if it's good or bad in this game. It's not very good in 3. Actually, 3 was the one where they made it take like 5 seconds to cast, right? Not this one. Yeah, no luck, Gandalf. So who could I buy like an infinite supply of repair powder from? That uh invisible dude in Dragway Castle. Alright. By doing what vice? By leveling a fake stat? By a lot. Huh. I wonder what's behind this door. What door? Uh, I warped to Drangleic Castle, and there's a king's door, like, right to the left of the bonfire. Yeah, that's the final boss. Oh, that's the final boss door? Yeah. Oh. I don't want to go that way. Wow, this guy sells a lot of shields now. He didn't sell all this stuff before. He expands his uh, stuff after you talk to Vendrick, or get to the Vendrick. Oh, wow. Well, Once you get the King's Ring. Fifteen should be more than enough repair powder, yeah. And yeah, he sells the what were originally pre-order bonus weapons that aren't very good. I know that the bound hand axe is pretty bad. Okay, so where do we have to go for the first DLC? I forget. Uh, first DLC is just after where you fight the rotten man. Oh, so we gotta go to Black Gulch. Okay.
So Luca Teal just vanishes from the game completely after you get her equipment, right? I believe so. She might just hang around there. I don't know. I think Ben Hart does too. No, oh, I don't want to get poisoned. Couldn't see the cave, the smoke was blocked. Yeah, I'm looking for it too. Oh, yeah, you can summon Ben Hart for the final boss. Uh, for whatever reason, he did that. Does I, I mean, I guess it's the final boss, so, you know, obviously, but it, it does not count for his quest. Uh, not that he would actually survive, right? Because it's three bosses in a row. You're not a bonfire, you're just a big bonfire. So this DLC is going to be rough. No two ways about that. How do I open the door? What, yeah, the, fir the first big door? Yeah. It should just open. I pushed it right open. It just says closed for me. Huh. Three dragon charms. I guess not. Where, where's the key for it? I don't remember getting a key for it. Uh... Which key is it? Dragon Talon. Yeah, because I've got the Dragon Talon, the Heavy Iron Key, and the Frozen Flower. It's automatically added. So I should have it. Why don't I have it then? It's not in your key items? Hello, Dragon. Goodbye, dragon. Oh, you have to... Okay, in the original game, it was automatic. After acquiring the forgotten key down in the doors. There's a well to jump down and... Uh, Ooh. did you ever, uh, open that one door down there? No. Oh, well, I think that's what Vice is trying to tell you to go to. So much easier when you just put the key in your inventory. Instead of telling you to do stupid stuff. Well, I guess I can work on getting Vigor and Endurance to 40. Then I could just put everything else in the decks. Uh, right, so let me get out my new toy. Play with this for a bit. I'll go check out Shulva and get a lay of the land.
do you have the other two key items, Gandalf? I have the one for the second DLC. I have no idea where you get the one for the other DLC, or if I got it or not. Oh. Well, you can... I didn't know I needed any of them. Well, you can just check your key items. I'll just get it. I mean, we're not going to finish the first DLC anyways. Keep dying trying to get to the stupid door. It's this gimmick with this place. Come on. Wait. It's supposed to be the one with the longest letter, right? That's the only one I bought. It doesn't take me So you're at the well, right? Yeah. Well, you you still have to find a way to get to the door. It's it's still a little tricky to make the jump. These guys are probably immune to poison. Considering they inflict poison. The ladder up. There's no jump. I was thinking it's further down. Oh, oh, I'm. I'm not dead. That's amazing. Dang, three chests with nothing in them. Magic is for stupid people. Ouch. I'm alive. Ugh. Maybe not for long, though.
Poison Bite br Ring plus one. Because the, the original Poison Bite Ring helps so much. <laughs> Alright, just give me a shout when you're at okay. the... I'm at the first bonfire. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, do you want to summon me first, or...? I'll summon you. Okay. Which god today? Uh... Kremel. Okay. Okay, off we go. But, um, be prepared because these dudes have, like, infinite poise. That's fine, it don't. So do you remember the gimmick for this place? Oh, uh, they... You, you see those... Gotta touch all of these. Yeah. Oh, if I was standing on there, I could get that item. Can I lower you? Go back there. You know, there weren't a whole lot of, like, spear or halberd type weapons that really caught my interest, but this one's pretty cool. Uh, so there's also this one here, which activates from this crystal. Where's my bow? Why is my bow not on right now? What are yeah. you Yes. Gandalf is the mighty monarch! Oh, wait. I dropped down the wrong hole. Oops. Well, I'm stuck in gay baby jail now. Well, we'll find each other eventually. I went this way, though. <laughs> uh, from what I remember, though, this area is pretty, like, open-ended with how you can explore it compared to... Most of the other areas in the game. Oh, I can't actually activate these crystals. You should on. I can get over there easy with my wings. Oh, there you are. Corrosive acid eggs. There's probably an item on this little ledge here, but you may have already gotten it. There's probably an item over there. I didn't explore over there. Who knows what could have been over there? What ledge? Uh, over here by this, uh, hold on. Yeah, that ledge there. 
Anything? Growth bomb. What do you turn? Oh, they're f okay. That makes sense. Alright, gonna need to find a switch for those. Oh man, they're back! And now they move! Uh, these, these are the best part of the DLC. The omnidirectional. And hardest shit to fucking kill. I can't actually remember how you kill these things. Can you kill them? I'm pretty sure you can. You just have to hit the thing underneath. But I don't remember how right. this works though. That was very rude. I just got a message that said try jumping butthole. I remember there being a way to like break that or like knock them over. I don't know. I don't know. Crack red eye over. Nothing. It's, uh, it's very easy to miss, miss stuff in this place. Oh, yeah, it's all over the place. Well, you know, I figure we'll just go and tell something happened. Hey, it's worked what? so far. Three bosses today, right? Uh, the queen. The dragon, and then the burglars. Yeah. Well, this way is clearly the right way, which means we should go other way. Uh, two million three hundred. These didn't help me at all. Where'd you come from? Uh... Alright, you can get their lances as a weapon. I don't know, I don't know if they're like... Good. Probably applies poison, which means it's probably not good. The, the crystal for this thing. Can I hit it from here? No. Uh, 
Since it's this one right here. Damn it. No. Oh, is that another bonfire over there? I'll be right back. I mean, that jump does look... Oh, I don't know. Uh, there's another one beneath us that can be lifted up. I just can't hit the thing from here. Probably this one. Looks like we're going down. Look at you not having butterfly set to reduce your fall damage. Have you dropped down here? Or is that that's not a death drop, right? Sanctum mace. Oh yeah, it's Deef's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Zar. Drop down way. This? Uh, yeah. I have now. But I've already been down here. Oh. This is, this is clearly the way to actually go. Now I too can be like one of those dudes with the infinite poise. I think this is the elevator that goes to, uh, the grave robbers. Mm. I just don't remember how to activate it. I remember you saying that the guy in Havel's gear is, like, really scary. Be or, or he used well, to be. They all are because they don't run out of stamina, but you've got two dudes running at you while another guy is shooting you from a distance. It's really off the deal. Oh, no coming back for me. Wait a second, these people are real. Wait, I forget how you hit these guys. Oh, shit. I'm stuck now, too. I might be dead. Alright, now I remember. Now I remember how you deal with these guys. Get away from me. Oh, I'm not stuck at all. I'm perfect. didn't die.
Now all the loot is mine. So these switches you have to hit to activate, right? Yeah. Okay, so I am stuck until you come my way. Oh, that thing just does not stop shooting arrows, does it? How's it going? Hey. Oh! You've got the Onion Knight Helm. Oh yeah, I think there's an item up there that's kind of hard to get because of how the physics work for this door. Right. I remember. I'll go scout ahead. I'm gonna get that item. Maybe. I don't think there's actually anything. Oh, this does lead to the grave. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't wanna drop down there. This does lead to the grave robbers, huh? There was nothing up there. I've been bamboozled. Oh, I thought I could have sworn there was something up there. Uh, yeah. Check the sides, and then there's a a hole here. But you should be fine with your butterfly setup. Probably. So there's a switch in there. I wonder if there was a switch for that door back there. And I just didn't see it. Potentially? Oh well. I saw the holes in the wall, but then by the time they started poking out, it was too late. Do you just have to try and book it through that? More than likely. Just check it. Oh, no. it's just it's just a dead end down here. Oh, there may be an item. Yes. Is, there, is there a problem? Aha! There's a switch back here. Oh, there is? Possibly one that turns off that trap. Or moved something. If I don't make it, it tell tell my wife I said hello. Oh, uh, gonna have to hold on a minute, Gandalf. I D OBS disconnected me.
Was there a pressure plate there? Oh, there it is. Silly me. For me, it was, there's a blood stain on it. So I, uh, couldn't see it. I got the the big weapon from this DLC. No, I don't really know where to go. From. Hit that button. Do we have to fall down that hole now? find these guys corp So what's the plan now? Well, I already went back to the bonfire. Although I might actually be eating soon. Oh. Uh. Should we stop for now, or? Uh, we can continue like tonight if no one's doing anything, or tomorrow or something. Okay, so we'll hold off on it for now. Uh, I'll probably need to summon you next, just so I can get caught up to the, like, the next bonfire and stuff. Yeah, that, 
bonfire doesn't really seem like it's particularly much farther, but yeah, we can, uh, I'll summon, or let you summon me get to that bonfire, at least. Alright, so we'll stop for now? Yeah. Okie doke.